Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is your new starts now. Your new starts now. And this word isn't for everyone. So please take it to the Lord for confirmation and always test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. But if this word is for you, your new starts now. And, you know, I was spending time with the Lord this morning in the secret place, and he took me to Joshua chapter 15. And this whole chapter is about the tribes of Judah taking back the promised land, getting their inheritance, you know, the different boundaries being set for the different tribes moving into their promised land. So if this word is for you, you're moving into your promised land in this hour. You are taking back territory for Jesus Christ on this earth. And many of you, the Lord had called you, you know, to make a move and he called you to step out in faith. For some of you, this is, um, you know, a spiritual move. This is a move away from certain people, from sin, from situations that hadn't been serving you. And for others of you, this was actually a physical move. And for some of you, it was all of the above. <laughs> so you've been obedient. And because of that, the Lord is blessing you mightily in this hour. You are walking into the pages of the book written about you in heaven. It's referenced in Psalm 139, 16. And the scripture reference the Lord gave me specifically for this word is Jeremiah 29, 11, which says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. So many of you have been experiencing hope deferred. You know, you know what the Lord had spoken to you, but you'd been going through a season of testing, of pruning the new wine skin. You know, you can't pour new wine into the old wine skins or they would burst. So the Lord had to stretch you. And listen, that's not a comfortable process <laughs> to go through, but you know, you allow the Lord to put you through the process to refine you by fire. Many of you have been learning about discerning uh, spirits in the season, testing the spirits, so that, you know, as the Lord continues to elevate you, many of you are going to have that religious spirit coming against you, that smug Pharisee, Sadducee spirit. And so the Lord wants you to be able to discern the spirit and not allow it to stop w the move of God in your life. You know, don't let um, your haters come against you and stop the move of God in your life. You know, I released a word yesterday that your haters are messy and miserable. And you can see in a lot of these people who carry this, you know, Pharisee, Sadducee spirit, they don't look happy. They look miserable. <laughs> There's no joy in their hearts. And a lot of these people, their entire ministry is just about exposing <laughs> other people, you know? And so, you know, there, that should be, you know, the Lord in the Bible, we're called to bring light to the darkness. We're called to um, speak the truth in love. But a lot of these people, they don't speak the truth in love. It's a sharp tongue, you know, and it's this smug self-righteousness that they carry. And it's their entire ministry. You know, and a lot of the people who they come against, they're accusing these people of being charlatans and doing it for money. But they're making money off of talking about these people. And so, you know, listen, <laughs> as the Lord continues to elevate you, you're going to experience that persecution. And listen, if it happened to Jesus, why would you be any different? And, you know, you listen to these people interpret the Bible and it's like, it's just like, wow, where did you get that? You know, a lot of these people have like theology degrees and they're so much higher than everybody else. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but when you start to think that you're better than other people just because you have a theology degree, <laughs> but there's no spirit of the Lord working through you, you know, that's, that's, that can be a problem. So listen, don't let um, the naysayers, you know, get you down. And at the bottom line is no one can shut the open door the Lord has set before you. It says that in Revelation 3 verse 8. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks about you, what they think about your ministry. You've already been stamped approved in the kingdom of God. The Lord is going to continue to bless you. And all these people are going to continue to watch and, you know, Pray for them. Pray that, you know, they will receive the joy of the Lord, that they will 
receive revelation, you know, in their own lives, that the Holy Spirit will give them eyes to see and ears to hear. Because anyone who's walking closely with the Holy Spirit can see in a heartbeat the spirit that people are operating out of. You know, many of you have that gift of discernment. You have eyes to see and ears to hear. And, you know, a lot of these people don't even believe in unclean spirits or that they're working through people and this is what they teach. And so of course the enemy wants to stay hidden. He doesn't want people to know his playbook, but you know, your news starts now and there's nothing anyone or any demon in hell can do to stop your elevation and what the Lord is, how he's blessing you. And for some of you, this might not even be like a, in a physical elevation in, the, in this world. It's a spiritual elevation. He's taking you to higher places in the spirit and you're receiving revelation. You're receiving discernment. He's bringing Daniel 222 to mind, which is also a scripture that he brought to me yesterday in that word. And it talks about how he reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what's in darkness and the light dwells with him. So many of you are just shining the light of Jesus Christ so brightly in this hour and your light um, disturbs the darkness. It exposes the darkness. It triggers the darkness in people, the unclean spirits, you know, they, they can't stand you. And it's like, they don't understand why. And that's not a fruit of the spirit, you know, but listen, not everyone's going to be called to your ministry and that's just fine. You know, keep it pushing and you don't have to engage, just block and delete and know that a lot of times these things will come in waves, especially as the Lord is elevating you, especially as you're being promoted. Many of you are being promoted in this hour because that was another word that I released. Your promotion is happening now. So along with this promotion comes an increase in territory. He's expanding your reach. You know, many of you are um, potentially going to go viral with some of your content uh, in the next coming days and weeks. And this is all part of taking back territory one soul at a time for Jesus Christ. You know, we're called to share the gospel in every corner of the world. And now in this day and age with the internet, with, you know, with uh, smartphones, we can reach people in remote areas. And so, you know, as the Lord elevates you, it's for his glory. It's not even about you. It's about the great commission. It's about spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. And as long as you put him first, as long as you continue to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness all these things will be added to you Matthew 6 33 as long as you continue to um you know not um uh, get prideful and, and give all the glory to the Lord and everything he's doing in your life he's going to continue to bless you because he knows you're a good steward of all the blessings that he's bestowing on you in this season I'm having the vision of the cement truck and whenever the Lord shows me the cement truck, that is um, his way of saying that these blessings that are coming your way are heavy and permanent. And I'm also seeing the vision of the chessboard, which means he's moving things around on your behalf. You know, you don't see everything the Lord is doing, but you just need to continue to follow his daily instructions. Many of you, he's given you instructions on a daily basis. And you don't need to worry about even a week from now. You just do what he's called you to do on this day. And know that whatever he's calling you to do, it's part of your next season. It's part of taking back territory. It's part of, you know, increasing your reach. And um, for many of you, your business, your ministry, whatever it is the Lord has called you to do, that you are stepping out in faith and obedience, he's going to continue to bless it. As long as you continue to walk in obedience, you will be blessed for your obedience. Deuteronomy 28, 11 through 13, blessings for obedience. So... I don't know who this word is for today. Please take it to the Lord for confirmation. If this word is for you, get in the comments, come into agreement with this word and say, my new starts now. My new starts now. And receive everything the Bible already says is yours. Everything the word of God already says is coming to you. You know, many of you, you have finances, provision earmarked for you in heaven that is to be used in your mission, in your assignment. And so receive what's already yours and ask the Lord if there's anything that I need to do, anything I need to repent from, any curse I need to break off my bloodline, Lord, show me, give me wisdom and discernment so that I can walk 
in everything that you have for me so that I can walk in my assignment with my head held high, walking in my dominion over the enemy. You know, it says in Luke 10, 19, he gives us the authority to trample the enemy like serpents and scorpions under our feet. So walk with boldness in this season and the authority given to you by Jesus Christ. And just know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication comes from me. So continue to walk with boldness. I released another word recently. You're as bold as a lion. Listen, <laughs> nothing can stop, delay what the Lord is doing in your life. You can't even at this point because you are so plugged in. You're so aligned with the Holy Spirit that nothing the enemy tries to use to come against you is going to work. I cancel any witchcraft. Black magic, voodoo, hexes coming against you in this hour. We return it to sender in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your families, your spouses, your purpose. And I just pray a special blessing over your life that you will step into everything that the word of God already says is yours. So if you feel the Holy Spirit leading you to sow into this message, I encourage you to do so. I pray over every seed that the Lord would increase to the thousand fold. I pray for all of you who receive these messages, that the right people would receive them at the right time. I pray the Lord continue to go before you, follow behind you, leading you into his perfect will for your lives. It is Giving Tuesday, so if you have an opportunity to um, you know, give, get out in your community, do some volunteer work, whatever it is the Lord might be calling you to do. To, you know, we should, every day should be a giving day. But uh, I know today is specifically Giving Tuesday. Um, my son Tommy and I are gonna go out and shoot another story today for you guys, hopefully to be released later this week. So stay tuned for that. I don't wanna get into it because I want to just release it and surprise you guys with what the Lord is doing uh, through the content on this channel. Many of you have been blessing this channel financially and enabling us to do more of that type of content. So thank you, all of you guys who, um, who are financial partners, you're, who pray for this channel, who support through subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, who are members of Hashtag Team Jesus, the membership group for this channel. You can also get your Hashtag Team Jesus t-shirt or sweatshirt in the store. That's another way to support this channel. So just know no matter how you support this channel, um, I appreciate you guys so much. You can also go follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or X. I have been going live on TikTok uh, more frequently. So if you're on TikTok and we're not connected, get connected with me over there. And just know that I love you guys so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.